welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be using some colors from madame glam's new collection we're all mad here these are the sort of speckled gel polishes i really like them i wanted to do some more designs with them because i feel like when people look at them they're like oh they're just like mini egg gel polish but they're not they're not just for mini eggs so that's what i'm going to show you today i've also got rosy nude i've got their blooming gel and i'm going to be using perfect white later on in the video which i do show you i yeah i'm gonna start i'll show i'll tell you what the speckly colored gel polishes are called as i use them but to start with i am going to do an extended nail bed using the rosy nude i really like the rosy nude color it's probably if i was going to do a, a, a french this is probably the color that i'd go to i really really like it it's really nice i am using my nail sugar natalie margaret's detailer brush to make sure that my smile line is nice and neat and how i want it and because i did make a boo-boo i'm just using like i've got this really old 3d acrylic brush that i use as a cleanup brush i just damp that with a little bit of gel cleanse and just make sure that i get off like i just neaten it up basically with that and um, once i'm happy with how it looks i'm going to pop it in the lamp i am going to give it two coats so this was me giving it the second coat i did cut a lot of this out because it did take I was being extra faffy here so i thought well i'll just show you me doing the second coat towards the end of the second coat does that make sense um marshmallow <clears throat> this is like the off-white color of the uh, collection so this one is going to be the base color for all of our nails if you don't want the base to be speckled just use like perfect white i, th I, th I thought we might as well just go full speckled because why not so all the nails are going to be marbled I, i'm going to try and explain this so i'm going to do it in a kind of like rainbow way so the nails on the left of the hand would be we, we'll start from yellow basically and work our way down to pink no to orange or corally color so this was little chick so on the first nail we're going to use little chick then we're going to use the green which is pores up and these i'm just putting on the palette next to each other this is how i like to do my marbles so just make sure you don't get any of that previous color on your brush before you put it back in your bottle because you don't want to contaminate your colors and then the blue which is sea life so these are all going to be next to each other i did use um way too much of these as you go on, you know, you'll probably notice I put, actually you might not notice, but I, but I do put less of the gel polish on the palette as I go on. So onto the nail, I will place some of the blooming gel. I'm just running this through that. I don't know why I've done that because that was quite sharp and it'll probably have scratched my palette. So yeah, I've got some blooming gel on this nail. And then onto that uncured blooming gel, I've got my, it's, this is just an ombre brush. I just scoop up some of the colour. You kind of want to float it over. Don't really like brush it into that blooming gel. If you like float it over, it lets it kind of disperse. And then what I like to do is I like to just touch the side because it just pulls off any excess gel polish and it will stop the nail from getting bulky. Normally I do this with my finger, which you do see me do later on in the video. If you do do this with a with your finger, just make sure your finger is you're wearing a glove or something because you shouldn't really put uncured gel polish on your skin, obviously. Um but this is a this is a case of do as I say and not as I do. I do this a lot i'm like you shouldn't do that but i'm gonna do it <laughs> right this is the next nail so for the next nail we're gonna start with paws up or paws upside down like that was <laughs> Duh. Uh, and then we're gonna go in with sea life which is the blue so we're gonna leave out the yellow right this is what i mean by i'm kind of doing it in a rainbow yeah so we're gonna leave out the yellow and then we're going to add the purpley pink of the collection which is called pastel dream it looks quite pink but when you when we use we're going to use bunny hop which is a pinker pink um when you put it next to that then it does look more purple but in the minute it kind of looks pink but it's it's like a it's like a purpley pink there we go so i will just run a dotting tool through those 
and then um, we'll have some blooming gel on our nail uncured again and then I will scoop the color up as we did before and I'm literally just going to repeat the process but with different colors if you want to you can put it on in a different I don't know in like a different I don't know just do it how how you want to do it really if you don't do marbles like this if you do marbles a different way do the marble your way if you want to recreate it just use the same colors but do the marble how you like this is just personally how i like to do it so like, i was trying to do it again with this uh i think it was after this one i decided you know what just use your bloody fingers yeah look here like i'm doing it with my fingers don't look though there we go it just kind of like pulls the colors the the gel across a little bit more it just helps it kind of disperse right this one this is going to be our third so i'm only doing four i again i i imagine me doing four fingers and i miss out the thumb like i would if i was using my flexi hand um i'm using the marshmallow marshmallow and i am just using this to create the free edge of the nail make sure that you get right up to the rosy nude you don't want any gaps if you really want to you can slightly overlap the rosy nude just so that you know that it's covered um i didn't realize until the end but actually i am going to put some crystals across this smile line so if you do leave a gap it's not the end of the world if you're going to cover it up with crystals if you don't want to use crystals then just make sure that you haven't got the gap there right so for this nail um, I'm using Sea Life. Pause up. No, not pause up. We're, we're, we're forgetting pause up. We're not using pause up. Um, we're using Pastel Dream. So you see we've we've omitted the yellow and we've omitted the green. So now we're gonna we're moving on to the blue, the purple, and then I'm gonna add the pink, which is called Bunny Hop. Now remember for this now, you're gonna need even less. So just make sure you're a little bit sparing when you put it on your palette. And then I will just run my little dotting tool through that as well. And again, with the blooming gel on this nail, I'm only going to put it on the free edge because we're not going to put the marble on the actual, um, the, like the extended nail bed part of the nail, literally just on the free edge. Okay. Run that through. And then using my ombre brush, I will just scoop it up. Every time you go to a different nail make sure you just clean off your ombre brush with the you want to get the previous colors off the ombre brush obviously before you start the new one okay so i am gonna leave it like that again i just touched to pull off some excess gel polish and it just helps with that it just helps the marble to disperse a bit more i learned that from scarlet center she done it on one of her nails and i was like oh my god that's such a good idea <laughs> So this time we've used Pastel Dream. This is the last now, remember. Pastel Dream, Bunny Hop, and I'm going to use... This one is called Crazy Coral. Uh, sorry, Crazy Lobster. And this is the corally colour. But again, you can see we have got rid of the blue for this nail. So I've used six, six colours um, each time we emit a colour and add a new one on. Do you see what, do you see what I mean? Um, so again, just scoop up the colour and then create your marble. I like these colours together. I think they're quite summery. Pastely, pa oh, maybe, no, a pastel's more springy and neon's more summer. I guess they are really, aren't they? But we are still in spring. We're not in summer yet. So I still think, yeah, I think these colours are. I can't wait to see what Madame Glam brings out for the summer. I'm really liking there their colors at the moment then the new releases that they bring out there we go oh if you want to get 30 percent off any madam glam gel polishes you can use my code natmug30 um if you want to you can become a vip uh, basically what that is is there is basically like a subscription kind of thing they will um it's like a direct debit you set up like a direct debit they take 29 dollars from your account each month and then that will save in your account as store credit and you can save it up for several months or you can use it every month um i i probably save it up 
but yeah um yeah so and also if you are a vip you get 50 percent off everything all the time um if you don't want to do that though 30 percent is still a massive saving so the code is natmug30 if you want to um so this is a what is this thing here that i've got this isn't uh, this is foil these are foils um i like these no nail fo yes they are foils yes this is um it's like a, but a butterfly florally one i basically just cut off the, the butterflies that i liked i thought they'd go really well with this set now madame glam don't actually have any foil gel i don't think they do so i'm using a different brand but we're just gonna ignore that for now because this is a madame glam video um, I'm using these pastel hearts as well from Nail Sugar. They, I've decided at the end they don't actually go quite, quite with this set, but I wanted to pop them on to see what they look like anyway. Um, this is the foil gel. Uh, I'm going to put this over the nail, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some of the smaller pastel hearts into that uncured foil gel. And then when we cure it, they're obviously going to be cured into place. Which will be easier for them to, when we come to top coat. So now it's cured. That, that has cured for 60 seconds. Now, as soon as it comes out, once it's still warm, I'm going to place the butterflies or butterfly, whatever, how many I decide to put on, on the nail. And I'm using a silicone tool. I like to just push onto the foil just to make sure that that has really it's all going to be like on the nail so once i'm happy you just pull off the backing and you have got your your little butterfly on your nail so this one i'm not going to put any foils or butterfly sorry onto the extended nail bed part of the nail but i am going over the whole nail with the foil gel so that it it kind of if i have got a gap between where the two gel polishes meet it's kind of just going to fill in that bit as well so it's going to yeah it's going to try and make well it probably will make the nail smoother than what it would be if i didn't do that um i'm going to go over all the other nails now adding the foil gel and adding the foil butterflies and then this is what i'm left with i did put a couple of pastel hearts on the other nails um still not convinced i don't know i just i don't think they're quite right for this set but i love them but not for this set <laughs> i'm now going over the top of these nails i don't think i showed you actually this is madame glam's velvet matte top coat I really like this this is up there with my favorite matte top coats i'm going to go over all the nails with these i do out a shot i'm terrible for doing that um, I'm going to pop these in the lamp and they will cure for 30 seconds if you want to leave them shiny that's roughly what they'd look like but this is what they look like matte finished i think they look really nice matted and then i was like they it needs something else so i took some perfect white gel polish this is what i was talking about at the beginning of the video i'm gonna plop that only you know, only need a little bit i put way too much on um a little bit onto a palette and get your detailer brush i'm using the i'm sure i've told you this in the in i'm sure it's, yeah I'm, I'm sure i told you this earlier this is the nail sugar natalie margaret's detailer brush this should be back in stock early may there was a slight delay with a of about a three week delay with the production unfortunately so yeah hopefully no later than early may these should be back in stock but if you're in the nail sugar group then um yeah any updates will be posted in there just saying you might want to join the group um i think there is a madam glam group as well I, I got booted out for some reason and i don't know why and then i don't know why i don't i don't know why but i don't know who the admins are so i can't ask why i got booted out um it would have been nice to have been told why because if, if i'd have broken a rule or something i don't know anyway it doesn't matter who cares not me um i'm gonna sprinkle the diamond dust glitter from nail sugar into that uncured white gel polish tap off the excess and then i'm going to pop that into cure for uh, i don't know it cures for 30 seconds because i've sugared i like to leave it in for just a little bit longer <clears throat> you can double cure if you want to it's fine and then i'm going to do a couple of little stripes at the bottom of a different nail one of the other nails So these are going to be, this, the, the previous nail was like a thick line and a thin line. These ones I decided to keep sort of the same width. Again, sprinkle in. I always like, I was like, I keep sprinkling and I'm like, oh, it's probably enough. 
and then I thought right just a little bit more little sprinkle for luck <laughs> tap off the excess pop it in the lamp and then you can use a hard brush to to just brush off the excess because the glitter is going to be cured into that gel polish if you use a hard brush that the what's cured in that gel polish isn't going to go anywhere so don't don't worry um i'm just using a softer brush because it was the brush that i had the closest um, and then i was like do you know what we just need one more thing we needed some crystals so i'm going to be using these are really tiny ss3 crystals from the crystal parade they're swarovski ab's um, I think SS3s are something like 1.8 millimeter crystals. They're absolutely tiny. Um, I'm going to use the Crystal Totalist Gem Glue around that smile line area. I'm going to try and make sure I don't go too mad with it. Like I, I want to put enough on, but because the crystals are so small, you don't want to, you don't want to put too much on. That yeah, you want the crystals to be embedded nicely in that crystal. Um, glue but you don't want it to be you don't want there to be like what am I trying to say <laughs> I'm having a brain fart moment um you don't want too much but you want enough there we go that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> oh I got there in the end that's um just move the ones like this side I felt needed to just be tucked in a little bit more so I'm just making sure that i'm happy before i pop it in the lamp and then the crystal totalist gem glue, glue cures for 60 seconds so this is them all done um i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing don't forget you can get 30 percent off madam glam using my code natmug30 and 10 percent off nail sugar using my code natmug10 for all your glittery needs any crystals from the crystal parade use code nat5 and you can save five percent I will see you beautiful lot on Thursday with another video. Yes. Bye. Love you all. <laughs>